Right here, this is just a walk around of my Mazda Bongo. Um, it's a 1995, uh, it's on an N registration. The, um, it has um, Mazda alloy wheels, which are the originals, and the bodywork is in excellent condition, as you can see. Um, one thing with Mazda Bongos, they do tend to rust on the wheel arches, however, as you can see, mine are rust free. Okay, well, features with this particular model, it hasn't a remote central locking, but it has manual central locking. The, um, it has um, a touch immobiliser, just touch it. Put the key in because the door's open, it makes a beeping noise. And is like the old 90s diesels, you have to wait till the light goes out, and then there we go. And it starts up straight away, as it should do. Um, it has four speed automatic, air conditioning, or should I say heater and cooler, because in actual fact, the air compressor on this one doesn't work. However, it has rear air conditioning, you can switch it off, switch it on. Now those controls are actually um, work separately, um, I just tend to leave it on auto and at 22 degrees. It has an aftermarket radio which is quite a good one, it's a, a Kenwood, the CD player also has an auxiliary um, slot so that you can actually run your MP3 player or satellite as I do, satellite navigation comes through the speakers. Um, this particular one, although it has an ashtray, which has never been used, um, that is actually replaced with this, which is a cup holder, which is an optional extra, and um, you can take that out and put the ashtray in if you so wish. Now then, um, the, the handbrake has to be on if you're to use, operate the roof. Now then, so that's on. And there's a button here, the roof is electronic and you listen to the beeps and you can hear the roof go up. And when the beep stops, the roof should be fully elevated. There we go. Now if we just have a quick look outside. And that's the roof elevated. Right, round the other side, we've got um, the side sliding door. Now, it does have a brake, so it'll stay open. Although, I don't think it'd be too advisable to ride around with it open. However, when you shut the door, it actually has an electric mechanism, which shuts it nice and tight to make sure that it's uh, secure. If we go into the back of the vehicle, we've got the seat seating, which can seat up to three people in the first set of rear seats. Also, can double as a table. By dropping the back of the seat down, and obviously you can see the cup holders there. You can also adjust it, bring, leave underneath there, bring them forward, and that then gives you access to the back from, from the slight side door. Now then, the interesting thing about the seating in the back is that, as you can see in this particular model, it has split rear seats, and it, they're hung using the strap. Um, now that's absolutely ideal for if you wanted to take a lot of camping equipment and there's two or four, up to four people. So some of the bongos don't actually have split seats, they have fixed seats and obviously that would be more awkward. Okay, right, now there's a little quirk in these bongos that the Japanese have worked out and it works like this. You go to the front and drop the back of the front seat. You then pull the front seat forward, 
you then can go to the back you can drop that down and obviously you can't see but you can then sit on it and use it as a table right back to the um, rear of the um, driver's seat and straight above we've got a hatch which accesses the tent if you like to call it that or the the uh, free free top in there we've got a light obviously the thing we've also got a skylight which will open up and obviously that lights in we've also got um, an inner tent and there's also which can be held up and there's actually an outer tent as well like a fly screen and there's enough room to sleep I would say two, chil two large children but two adults probably could go in here like, well, that's it. but also you can drop the hatch back down and if you do have children up there you've got a little hole that you can pass a drink through here and also the whole of the roof lifts up so if there's just say two of you you can actually use that standing room and you can use the forward above the cab as a storage area so there's also an extra light here light fitting so in the evening you can just put these lights on they don't take much, the fluorescence they don't take much electricity right and um, to get the roof back down again there's a um, small switch oh, you can see it there press that listen to the beeping you can then pull the main roof back down and then as you can hear the roof will start to come down it actually stops halfway to allow you to go outside to check that nothing's trapped as it's come down and then that does that automatically and then obviously when the beeping stops it's completely lowered there we go right while I'm still in the back I can show the uh, air conditioning controllers now at the moment it's set to 25 it's actually switched off because you can control it from the front and the back but if I can switch onto auto and you see the lights come up at various different speeds now two three but if you switch on auto it does everything for you and to be fair that's that's all you really need um, there is auto electric window blinds there we go there and each in each window has its own switch or alternatively the front it's got master switch which you can bring the rest of the blinds down or, or up okay right this is something that every bongo owner should have to do on a regular basis and that's check the oil well on with this bongo and I think all bongos the engine is actually mid mounted so it's underneath here so the first thing you need to do is take this off it's quite simple you can move the drinks and any other little trinkets that you might have in and underneath there you can see there's a screw thumb screw so you take that out there's another one underneath here take that out seems a bit of a mess in that but once you get used to it it's quite easy and you do need to check the oil every now and again then just two of those then the whole thing centre console lifts out and just put that to one side right underneath here the piece of carpet you see there's like a little hook well, you can see that and that unclips underneath the front of the passenger seat that's another put you lift that off and 
that. You can see the whole of the seat goes back. It reveals the engine. Now then, if you look at the engine, you can see the turbo, turbo charge. Uh, superbly powerful and that's the dipstick. This one's actually lost its little ring thing but you can get an idea. Pull that out, have a look. Yeah, we're okay in there. Plenty of oil. Obviously you normally need to wipe it and then re-dip it but I'm not in this case. And um, I don't know if you can see there, you can see the road <laughs> and everything to do. Now this is the uh, 2.5 diesel turbo and it is a powerful little engine and obviously with it being underneath this part which is right underneath the main part of the, the vehicle it is well protected so and and not too noisy which is quite surprising you know, sitting on top of the engine there you go that goes back down and then all you have to do is redo the clips and um, you're away again so there you go that's my bongo um, unfortunately I'm having to sell it so if anyone's interested in it it's um, up for sale for 4250 or nearest offer <laughs> and uh, I know that if someone did buy it they would have um, you know many years of enjoyment in it so thank you very much for watching my video